So my name's Stephen Rutter, um, a 51 year old man that's been making electronic music since I was about 18. I'm one half of B12, I have a partner called Mike Goldin, and I'm also a solo artist releasing music under my own name. And we've been asked to go and play in uh, New Year's Eve in one of the biggest techno clubs in the world, or some may say the biggest techno club in the world. And I can't say the name because I'm rubbish East End boy and my accent's not really good. Bergain, 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 something like that in uh, Germany. I was asked to play, perform the Electrosoma album in Camden. Three weeks before the gig, uh, the guy that the promoter called me and said, are you ready to perform Electrosoma, which was our Warp album from the 90s? And I said, yep. And then I realised I didn't have any of the music, I didn't have any of the synths, I didn't have any of the hardware, drum machines, any arrangements, any sounds, there was nothing. So I sat in a room with some headphones on and rewrote the whole Electrosoma album from scratch. Um, I had some help from a friend of mine, a wicked guy called um, Andrew Dobson from Digitonal. If you don't know Digitonal, you should check it out. Um, and the natural choice of equipment was, was Roland. The Electrosoma album and a lot of the early B12 work was written on Roland equipment. JD800s, Juno 106s, 909s, 808, 303, the usual suspects. Today, um, the Roland Boutique um, range was an obvious choice and um, so I bought them all and got, got rewriting the whole album on that. The first phase of rewriting was using some kind of sort of loop loop type ideas but I got bored really really quickly and, and now it's all coming out of hardware. So for playing live at Bergheim probably be five Roland boutiques and a TR8 as well as a Mac and a couple of iPads. Um, and I chose that, that hardware because it's true to the sound of B12, it's tr true to the sound of electronic music, uh, techno music, what I call techno music, um, and it's all easy to use and easily accessible. Two hour set, and we're going to cover some. We're going to play some electrosoma music, some other unreleased music. The set, uh, basically, the set is an Ableton, one Ableton project, which is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It started off with just a few tracks in there, and the, all the whole electrosoma album was in there. B12 stuff and my solo stuff. It's all in the same project file. It's actually this project file behind me here. It's got about 30 tracks in it and it's become a big unworldly monster. Unworldly? I don't know what the word is. You know what I'm trying to say. Over here we can see these are MIDI parts that get sent to the boutiques. So it depends on what's going on. If something's gone wrong and there's a disaster, I can come back to a loop. If I don't need the loop, I'm sticking with the boutiques, which is much more fun. As you see, the TR8's got no MIDI parts at all. Um, it just monitors the input from the sound card and the TRA, all the drums are programmed live. Whatever hardware spec comes with this set, whether it's five boutiques or seven boutiques or two or whatever, um, I can perform any track um, so it can go anywhere uh, need it to go. JU06. Some drums. So every gig has to be approached differently. So the big challenge for for a gig for me is who's coming, where am I going, what can I carry, how much can I do to keep myself physically occupied and give me the maximum amount of risk 
And what, when, what I mean by risk is I want to be out, I want things to go wrong, I want unpredictability, I want to connect with the crowd. For me, a gig is all about risk. 